So starting things off, warming up on court now, we have Michael McHugh. He's up against Andrew Schnell. This should be a really great match to kick things off. So he's going to need help from one of his colleagues, I think. So not a huge amount you can do with, with uh, bruised or cracked ribs, other than just try and let it, uh, let it rest. That's a great shot by Mike. You see Mike's pushing forward. He plays in a pretty high tee position. Both of these guys are known for kind of pressing the pace, stepping well forward in the court, and Mike seems to be doing that real well there. from Schnell so far. McHugh doing a lot of work in that rally, uh, covering all parts of the court there. That is, that's and putting uh, a six. little bit into his legs right away there. Uh, T line and taking advantage. And good aggressive hitting from McHugh, got onto that ball early. Game four, game ball. Really flattened it. Didn't read that one. Great choice there, mixing it up. He's played that most a number of times. Mike doing uh, more work than Ander in these rallies, uh, but coming out on top. He is, uh, yeah, that was a great winner. Out of nowhere, really. He just seems to have an answer to everything. Okay. These next few points can kind of set the tone, and if he lets Mike get away with this game you know, very comfortably, it's hard to just flip the switch and then start playing much better. Absolutely, it just gives a huge amount of momentum in the favor of McHugh. Lovely ace there, appreciated by the crowd. Look at that. Yeah, nice hold. Lovely finish to the game. Yeah, do you think he needs to just slow down the pace a little bit? Maybe. Use the, use the height on the front wall a little bit more. Yeah, I think lifting to get past McHugh, and then when he takes it in short, he's just been a little bit floaty into the front. Yeah. He just needs to be sharper. A little bit more severe. Yeah, more severe. Mike's quick to the front, and, and uh, Chanel's been taking it in a little too slow, and then McHugh's been jumping all over it. With He's very quick that first step into the front court. Oh, slightly yeah. tired looking movement. I mean, we've only, we're only 20 minutes in, uh, and, but it's been a fast paced match. Uh, you know, oh. Andrew's body language does look like he's, oh geez, well, I think we oh, may dear. be seeing the end. Well, perhaps it wasn't fatigue, but a, a, a bit of an injury that he's uh, nursing there. Oh, well, that's a very unfortunate end to this match. And uh, unfortunately, didn't live up to the billing. Uh, Andrew uh, just not feeling 100% clearly, and maybe after that first game, just really didn't have the, whatever it was, was holding him back. This, this is looking like the pattern of play is sorting, uh, suiting Delier at the moment. It's open, isn't it? It's, it's too very open. open. Yeah, it's very open. And uh, see with how this game has unfolded. Rallies have been too long. It's been very open. Oh, yeah, he's allowed to do that. Did he stop there? He looked like he was about to call a let, but he didn't. I suppose that's all right. He didn't uh, say anything. Smile from Turk there. Pass it off as a hold. 
<laughs> that was very unusual technique again. I don't know if he's getting phased by the odd motions here, but he's just not getting the rallies extended at all. It's short, choppy, and a bit messy, which is suiting Sean to a T. And then he's just burying it with a beautiful uh, backhand kill. Quite wonderful finish. This is better from Turk here in these last couple rallies. Better 90% straight in that rally. It was all pretty accurate as well. Straighter, a bit deeper as well. Um, he needs to hold it together at the back end of this second game. Use the disguise and the forehand drop. Turk had a opportunity to take that in short and just way too heavy. Uh, and then Delier capitalized with some nice disguise to, to get a clean winner. So two game balls for Delier. A possible two love lead. Interesting serve and it pays off. Game to Delier. Delier leads two games to love. Okay choppy and messy start to the third game here. That's better. Hand out, 2-4. Right. So three point lead for Delier in this third game. Nice. Beautiful. Again, ortho an orthodox technique. Shows the, the racket skills of Delier. That's a beautiful drop shot, but frankly, a and that's it. Eleven eight. So Delier closes out the match. Eleven five. Eleven eight. Eleven eight. In his own very unorthodox style, just 33 minutes for that win. You know, uh, foreign players in the PSA, and also a few wins on, on Canadian players. So you got to think his confidence pretty high coming into the Nationals. But uh, he's never won in Nationals before, so we'll see how he handles with the the pressure. It's like a fun court to play on. <laughs> if you're playing well. <laughs> if, if you're, you're not playing well, it's, <laughs> it's over very quickly. Good point. Nice. Just really came down on the ball. Used the strings well. Six low. No bounce on that at all. There's that forehand we sort of talked about earlier. All of that. Yeah, I, th I think in, in the bigger PSA events, we're starting to see the refs not give those strokes anymore. That was nice. Um, Bit of disguise there on the forehand. Couple nice holds there from Cameron at the back, Four, and then eight. again a hold and snap. So five Just game balls for the number one seed. Down. So that one finding the Eleven, ten. Five game by Arjan. Bayarjan leads one game to love. You're gonna have to try to eliminate the four unforced errors here. Try to send a message in this early part of the game that Bayarjan, try to get him a little bit uncomfortable, but another good start from Bayarjan, three loves. Lovely, that time drop. Three love. Well, 
I don't know if he's just trying to find a little bit more severity in that short game, but he's finding the tin. Nine love. Just shows the confidence level's pretty high when he's doing the fadeaway cross court nick. Yeah, I mean, he can just completely relax now. And there it is. 11-1, game, Bayerjan. Bayerjan leads two games to love. Similar to the last point, he did some good work to sort of create some space and get an opening. And then Five love. Unforced error to finish it. Doing well, taking, a ball, taking it early in the midcourt. He's really all around, isn't he? There's not, uh, there's not too many weaknesses to prey on and as an down. opponent. And some variety there sort of in the, in the, mi in the midcourt off the ground, showing that he Eight love. hold, take it long, hold, snap it short. That's yeah. That shot. Down. There you so have it. 11 3, matched by Ejeron. Three games to love. Finding the tin. So the number one seed marches on. 30 minutes, quarterfinal by Ajar, winning it 11 5, 11 1, 11 3. And to still get to the top of the juniors as well in Canada. So George comes from a, like a, a good generation in Canada. There was essentially four of them, maybe five, but it was a very good national team, junior team. 2018, they finished uh, fifth in the World Championships. But, Twelve. Uh, a few examples of maybe just not not match sharp. Tight ball from Sackfee. <laughs> Tight ball, <coughs> squeezes the error. Hand out, not seven, letting nine. Sack feet run away with this game. No, this is a high level of squash we're, uh, we're seeing here. <laughs> oh, did he get it? Oh. <laughs> he did. Great retrieving from Sack feet. No, wrong shot. Down. Oh, and the error from Crown, but what a game. Very impressive from this young man. Poor work in that first game because he does like to press up the court so much. He's pretty relentless with it, whereas Crown was maybe a little bit more measured. Yep. No, let. Well, he's. He's a great athlete. Hand Nick. out. And One, two. His strength is when he imposes pace and whatnot, but. Crucial stages of this second game. Sakfi will be desperate for a two love lead. Nice. And likewise, George really needs to get this game if he wants to give himself. A chance. Obviously, Eight, anybody seven. can come back from two love down, but you don't want. Down. Ooh. Ten all. A player must win by two points. Mm. Aggressive squash. Hand out. 11 10. Game ball. Game ball number four. A little fist pump, showing some emotion. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. Squeeze. 
12, 10. And a few of them on the backhand. Game to crown. One game is all. I want to try to open the court up a little bit. There's a nice post. Yeah, look at that. That's an uncomfortable movement. Make this a little bit more athletic and dynamic and physical. And George is very good at shutting it down and keeping it tight on the walls. Down. Really stretched out with his movement a few times in that rally. He's a tall athlete having to get down really low. Paul Long. Very, very well. I mean, he's the kind of player that he comes out firing early on in games, tries to build, build on, on an early lead. This one's going to be tough to come back from. Eight love. Eight love in no time at all. Well, you called it, Vanessa. Out, 11-1, game to Sakwi. Sakwi leads two games to one. Yeah, that's right, years ago, and uh, Cindy's here. And Luke's got his sister and his mom in the crowd there. Both uh, very involved with squash. Good. It's a good squash family. His brother, brother coach. Hand out. Sorry? Three brother one. coaches him, is that right? Yeah, his brother yeah. coaches and uh, for him. He's getting a few lobs out of George and physically maybe putting some uh, putting some damage into George's legs. Nice. <clears throat> Showing some good power and Six some great one. touch back to back. So match ball, sack feet. There it is. 11-1, match to sack feet. Three games to one. Well, it was looking like it was shaping up to be a really close match. Didn't quite pan out. Crown played a really, really good second game but uh, Sakfi taking it 3-1 in the end after 49 minutes.